Due to rising concerns surrounding the spread of the coronavirus disease or COVID-19, we at Sequoia Fund have a plan that will allow us to continue to serve you and the needs of your small business. If you've seen the news, you know this outbreak is not only putting stress on our healthcare system, but it's putting stress on our economy as well. The reality is that to contain the spread of this virus, much of our economic activity must slow down or even stop entirely. To continue business as usual could mean further spread of the disease, deepening and prolonging the effects we're currently experiencing. Economic uncertainty is as unsettling, if not more unsettling, than the prospect of contracting the disease. When things slow down or stop, it's easy to wonder how we'll pay the bills, keep our employees, buy supplies, do all the other things necessary to keep our business afloat, and put food on our family's table. It's with this uncertainty in mind that we want to make you aware of steps we're taking to help your business as well as the steps we are taking here at Sequoia Fund to ensure continued operations should local quarantines become necessary. First, health professionals are asking us to practice social distancing, so we recommend you complete an automatic payment form that will allow us to draft your payments directly from your bank account. We can continue these drafts even after the health crisis is over. If you're experiencing or expect to experience a reduction in business, we're prepared to offer you immediate relief from payments for up to 90 days. Now, if you just stop making your payments, those missed payments will be reported to the credit bureaus, so you'll need to contact our office to make sure your account is set up right. There's a little paperwork that has to be done, but it's a fairly quick process. If we're holding real estate as collateral on your loan, it may take a bit longer but we'll work with our legal department to expedite your request. If you've taken out a loan fairly recently, we may be able to help you by suspending your interest since interest makes up most of your payment. Interest will continue to accrue on your loan during this suspension and you'll have the opportunity to pay the interest once the crisis is over. You can pay it over time or even at the end of your loan term. We'll help you determine if this is a good option for you. If you need a new loan to purchase inventory, pay employees, repair equipment, pay vendors, we can help you with a short-term loan to get you through until this national emergency is over. If you don't currently have a loan with us, we can help you too with a short-term small emergency loan to help you weather the storm. Because Sequoia Fund isn't a bank, we don't have access to the Federal Reserve's vast resources of capital. We can only lend what we have on hand. So if you want to borrow money, you'll need to first apply at a bank. If they can help, you should take the bank loan. But if you can't get a bank loan, you can bring a turndown letter from your bank to qualify for a Sequoia Fund loan. With regards to our day-to-day -day operations, we are following the lead of many travel departments in closing our doors to walk-in traffic. We will still meet with you, but only by appointment. You can call our office at one of the numbers below, or you can set an appointment online. If the situation progresses to the point where we must close our offices, Sequoia Fund employees are equipped to work from our homes. We will be accessible to you and to each other, even in the worst case scenario. Don't think that not being in the office means we're not available to help you. Finally, please be sure you're getting your information about this disease from reputable sources, like the World Health Organization, uh, Centers for Disease Control, National Institute of Health, and our local health professionals. Stay away from Facebook doctors whose advice is often wrong and could actually be hazardous to your health. We all hope the virus is short-lived and that things return to normal as quickly as possible, but we are here to weather it with you should it get worse. In the meantime, things are changing pretty fast. We'll let you know if anything changes and what we can offer in the way of assistance, and we'll keep you informed of other sources of economic relief as we learn about them. Until we talk again, stay calm and stay safe.